Hey guys, welcome to the third video of my series on introduction to pandas. So in the last video, we saw how to read data from CSV files using pandas. And now in this video, I'm just going to show how to create our own data frames from existing data. So let's say you have um, some data in the form of two lists in your Python program. So let's say you have got a list called names in which you have the names of different people. And then you have the list called births in which you have the number of people with the name um, Bob which were born in a particular year. So let's say in, in a particular year, the number of people born whose name was Bob was 968, Jessica was 155, Mary 77, John 578 and Mel 973. So these are the counts of the um, babies who were named um, with this particular name in a particular year so this is let's say is a database that we is a data that we have and now you want to convert it into a data frame so that you can apply different kind of data analysis tools over your data so what you can do is that you have you will uh, the first thing that you will have to do is import pandas spd and then you have to convert your data that you have into a list of list so I have right now I have two different lists and I have to convert it into a list of lists. So let's see how to do that. So first of all, you will have to use the zip function in which you will have to pass all the um, individual lists that you want to have as your columns in your table. So I'm just putting names and births here. And then if you just typecast it with a list, then we get the data like this. So right now I have a tuple. Uh, I have a list of tuples in which each tuple will be representing each row of my table in the data frame that I'm going to create. So each tuple represents a row for me, right? So now this is the data that I want. And now I'm going to convert it into a data frame. And how to do that? All you have to do is you have to you create an object of the data frame class. So pd.dataframe in which you have to pass the data. So let me call this thing as data. So now data is my data and then columns so you can just pass columns equal to any kind of list. So let me call it name and birth as the column names for my data frame. And yeah, that's it. Once you have done that, I will call it df, df equal to pd.dataframe. And now let us see df. So look at that. We have created a data frame out of some Python list. So right now we have a data frame which contains these columns and the index values are the default index values which is 0 1 2 3 4 and then we have name and we have births if you want to have a different index then you can specify that as well by passing index equal to a new list so let's say you want to have index as a b c d e so you can simply do a b c um, d and e so now let us see what happens look at that the index is now a b c d e like this and you have got names and you have got births right so in this way, you can create a new data frame. And now how to save it. Let us see how to save it. So if you want to save a data frame, all you have to do is you have to do df.2 underscore CSV in which you have to pass the path of the file in which you want to save your data frame. So let's say I want to save it as data slash babies dot CSV. So this is the path. And also one thing to notice here is that um, I can put index equal to false. So what will that mean is that these values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 will not be saved in my CSV file. And I think that is what I need because this is a default value. Then why should I keep it in my CSV file, right? So I can just specify index equal to false if I do not want to keep 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 as a part of my um, CSV file. So if I just run it and if I just try to check my database, babies.csv let me open with a text writer so look at that we have got it name birds and then we have got all the rows right so if i had not done this using um, index equal to false let us see what would have happened so let us try to see let me reload this file and look at that we will get 0 1 2 3 4 which is quite useless right so in order to avoid that it is good that you just put index equal to false and then you get the raw data, the actual data that you need to be stored in your CSV file. So yeah, so this is all about um, how to create a data frame, how to save it. And I hope the concept is clear. If you still have doubt, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video.
Thanks for watching.